Viewers and subscribers, welcome once again to Think Tank TV. Now, as the protest in Nigeria comes to a conclusion, a lot of reactions has trailed the outcome of the protest. While many Nigerians believe that it was actually productive, someone has believed that the protest shouldn't have been called off until the President Bola Maitinubu's administration yield to the yearnings of the people. Now, in the wake of that, one of the frontline organizers of the protest, the hashtag revolution now, in person of Omoyele Sowore, who is the CEO of Sahara Reporters and a former presidential candidate in the just concluded election of AA political party, has given his thoughts, telling Nigerians the next line of action and the new dates to commence another protest in Nigeria. Yes, he said it from his diaspora residence when he was interviewed by News Central a few hours ago. Please, we'd like you to do well to listen with a rapt attention as we also love you to intentionally hit the like button. That's the only way you can support us for the good work we do. Also, drop your thoughts in the comment section. Let's get to know what you think about the words of Omoyele Sowori. And we shall continue to be here to serve you. Take a look. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much, Mr. Sowori. Mr. Sowori, first off, let's ask you an evaluation of the past nine days. Today, the 10th day. What's your view on the direction the protest has gone so far? Well, um, it has been uh, very, very successful. And I'm not saying it because... Uh, we're involved. It is my own assessment, and uh, we are starting to see that uh, the people of Nigeria have woken up, and uh, the sleeping parts of Nigeria are also waking up. I watched this morning a clip by a group of uh, Nigerians known as Petros visiting Tinubu uh, in uh, Abuja, asking him to start the process of uh, making a people-oriented constitution. That's our number one demand out of the 15. And uh, they made an eloquent uh, request about the need for it. Uh, I cannot speak to the processes they suggested because that's not something that uh, we are interested in right now. Uh, but people are waking up and uh, they also made it very clear that they told uh, Tinubu and his security agents not to kill people who are legitimately asking for their rights. And uh, you have seen that there's been a lot of rush in terms of interventions. Uh, suddenly, they're releasing money left, right, and center for grants. Uh, they are making all kinds of efforts to cap, uh, to, to, to make sure that Nigerians are calmed down. But uh, it is, uh, for us, a little bit, I mean, too little, too, too late. But this is the uh, 10th day as I'm speaking with you. Abuja is uh, on the streets to run, you know, for the grand finale, and I think Lagos will join soon, Port Harcourt will do so. But we must not uh, forget to mention that uh, a lot of high-handedness, extrajudicial killings, and uh, uh, a lot of shenanigans by security agencies uh, would not be overlooked. Uh, this was completely uh, terrible handling of uh, Nigerians who are asking for their rights peacefully that we saw in Kano, we saw in uh, Kaduna, even in Lagos, uh, where thoughts were driven to various centers where protests were happening uh, to beat up peaceful protesters and even journalists, including your journalists. Uh, I'm surprised that you didn't ask the Lagos guy why they decided to send talks to beat you guys up. But that's a conversation for another day. Oh, yes, indeed. I mean, speaking of uh, the demands and the protests, today is the last day. Demands have been made, and uh, the government, the state, the president has come out to address it. And you also talked about uh, somewhat of a, 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 you know, negotiation or some sort of talks on the sidelines. But you, uh, about, uh, I, I'm, if I'm correct, about some days ago, you posted a non-negotiable uh, list of demands uh, from that are core demands of the protesters. And those non-negotiable demands, I must have to ask, this, this is day, day 10, right? If it's non-negotiable, do you think that it's been achieved then? No, this is day 10 of a series of uh, revolts that will hit Nigeria if these demands are not met within a period of time. And let me let you in today, uh, being the first... Uh, sorry about that. I've uh, been the first um, station that we will tell this. 
that these protests will resume from the beginning of October. And they might even resume earlier, depending on situational variables. And when we start in uh, November, we will not stop uh, until these demands are met. So already that uh, conversation is going on among planners and organizers and the public. Uh, October, the public about last, it, so. Just to get it right, 1st of October, which is Independence Day. Yes. Well, they're on Independence Day. We want to fight for real independence starting from that day. Now, I, I must ask, given all of the, 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 the situation that have occurred during the hashtag and bad governance protests, from the you know, uh, dispersing of protesters with live bullets, ammunition, you know, to the curfews that was imposed, as well as uh, the events that we saw in Kaduna and Kano. Uh, do you think that uh, still going back on the streets to demonstrate is the answer uh, to, 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 to call for these demands? Yes, because that's the only language they understand. They don't, they don't understand any language that is... Uh, just we are sending letters to them. But this is not about sending love letters to people in government. People have been cheated, uh, people have been abused, they have been uh, deprived of uh, their fundamental rights, uh, social, economic, and political rights, and they're asking for redress. And uh, so there's no going back uh, in terms of they shouldn't, they shouldn't have been a break, uh, but it was a decision of. Uh, uh, those who are planners and organizers of this, that uh, we do our first 10 days as the rehearsal, and uh, the main thing will hit after that. Uh, Mr. Shore, um certain agencies, governmental agencies, immigration, finance, and all, have talked about a certain um, scrutinies uh, regarding people who they consider sponsors of the protests. First question is Are you a sponsor of the protests here in Nigeria? One, and if you are, have you noticed or noticed any indication that you are on some sort of watch list? whether by the immigrations or by the financial institutions here in Nigeria, and also your roundabout view regarding that watch list. First, uh, the people who should be on watch list are the people who created hunger, starvation, uh, and uh, unemployment, not people who are trying to erase it. But we are Nigerians, and we understand how they think. I've seen it for yourself. Now, if you've been following this channel, you'd agree with me that we have been calling for the government of Nigeria to look at people-oriented policy. Nobody today will begin to come. Because we knew that as opinion leaders like Aisha Yusufu, Kenneth Okun, Korofai, Hussein, a lot of people have been saying Nigerian government should listen to the people. Many years ago, many months ago, they have always been arrogantly adamant. You've seen what the outcome of the protest now is. And I think that this is a perfect opportunity for them to do the needful. Because sometimes what they do is they'll just go back to status quo and say, don't mind them. I did not done with their protest. The truth is that Nigerians are very resolute people. Nigerians are very patient. Like someone was saying, that sometimes Nigerians don't even have an elastic limit. You push them to the wall, they bust the wall, they go through and all that. But one day, the truth is, if you keep pushing them to the wall, one day, like a Nigerian adage goes that says, one day monkey go go market, it will come back. It's time for the Nigerian political class to face reality and do the need for. Ensure you do people-oriented projects genuinely. Nobody is saying that in government you're not going to benefit from it, but the truth is that you must do well to ensure that the people see dividend of democracy for real. Please do well to drop your thoughts in the comment section. Let's get to know what you think about the actions of the Nigerian government and the outcome of the protest. Do you think the protest was actually productive? Do you think the Nigerians should not have called off the protest? Do you think the words of Omoyele Sowari is actually right? Drop it in the comment section. We'd like to know what you think about it. Also, do well to intentionally hit the like button. That's the only way you can support us for what we do. Many thanks indeed to all our viewers and returning subscribers who continually watch our content. We do not take it lightly. My name again is Moses and this is Tank. See you on the next video. Bye for now.